Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. <laughs> All right, I tried wiring this up and there was actually no terminals to screw onto, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Been, uh, trying to run leads and roughly so I can connect up later. We're gonna go out with the box. So we did order the Multi Plus 2, the Slimline one, but Slimline one didn't get here. Um, from what we can gather, there's only a few little differences, but the main difference I ordered the previous one, not this one, this is the Multi Plus, but I got the Multi Plus 2, was just a more of a um, flatter footprint on the wall here, but this was up there and we don't have time to wait. And it's exactly the same, um, apart from a little bit of off-grid tying in or something, I'm not sure of there, but. And the inverter captain is going to put that on the wall and then he's gonna be hooking it all up. Power. We got power, go. baby. There we go. There's our multi plus, and Ooh. this is long enough. Because originally up? the other one was like showed oh, there. Yeah. Nice. It showed on the wall up here, but I actually That's perfect. I was gonna cut this, but I thought oh, I didn't need that piece anyway, and I thought I'll leave it longer. But looking at it now, uh -huh. it's probably gonna be the right length. Yeah. Hand. Oh, it's just a little battery tray we've made up here. Not going to get time to epoxy all this, but oh, yeah. if, if we ever feel the need to pull it out and epoxy it, we can. Look at that, it even fits. Oh, there we go. It used to be an 8D, but now it's a lifeline battery, which almost feels like it's the same weight as an 8D. Look how small it is and lean. <sighs> this, is probably, this is probably the weight of two lithium batteries. Two? Oh, more. Really? Oh, I can barely lift that. What kind of battery is that? It is a Lifeline AGM start battery. It's for breakers for our solar. Break us with the solar. Maybe Brian can explain it better. Yeah, it's a nice box. You can get it contained and be able to turn all your solar panels on or off so you can service them. Nice. It's a two pole uh, DC uh, breaker. Oh, thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Someone around here knows what's going Someone on. Someone knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually you. <laughs> so, uh, eight days to go, honey. Yeah. Are you feeling no pressure? No pressure at all. So it's, um, Nice little watertight box that'll be down below in the engine room. And each of the uh, four sets of solar panels are gonna be coming in so we can energize them. So these are two pole DC circuit breakers rated for 16 amps. So they're really just being used as disconnects um, so that they can isolate the solar panels. And so each panel will be labeled here and we can Turn them all off, disconnect the solar, or re-energize, and so they they'll be coming in through the bottom the inputs from the solar panels. Then the other side of the output of the circuit breaker will go to the uh, the charge controllers, the uh, Victron MPPT charge controllers. And then from there, through the shunt, which will measure all the current, all the power that's being delivered to the to the batteries. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll be able to monitor the state of the batteries and have them fully charged all the time. So, close that, keeps them nice and watertight in case you have any any leaks down below in the engine compartment. Not gonna happen, is it, Brian? Yeah, I hope not. No. Yeah, that, that's if Lee does his job. Yeah, that's right. Nothing will explode and spray all over the place. So, yeah. Well, that's lucky it's got a cover. That's yeah. <laughs> Very neat. So this is a 
32 amp breaker and then we have a 50 amp breaker uh, dedicated for the, the shore power. So yeah, nice little DIN rail mount, miniature breakers. Amazing. Yeah, everything to be safe. Be able to isolate everything when uh, when it, yeah, so that he doesn't uh, have to pull any wires off. He can yeah. just isolate the circuits. Easy to avoid Lee dying. So that's a good right. that's yeah. worth, worth a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not good for the captain. It's not. Or the crew. It's not. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. My pleasure. Just looking out for him. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Okay, something very exciting is about to happen. We've installed our Dakota lithium batteries and Lee has hooked up all of the um, Victron gear. So we are about to test whether or not the power is working. Um, Brian and Lee have been working very, very hard for the last few days, nearly a week, I think. They're about to turn it on and uh, here they are. The magic of electricity is that every wire is filled with smoke and the whole idea is that you never let the smoke out. <laughs> yeah. So if it smokes right now, it's not good, right? Right. <laughs> okay. So Lee's just taking the cover off. So this is the shunt and this is going to uh, liven up everything. It's yep. We're going to put a 500 amp fuse in here and everything will become live. Yep. Ooh. But there's no load, so we'll be able to check it. Do you have your voltmeter handy? So what's the danger in this? Any danger? Nope. Okay. I'm safe here. <laughs> you're, you're safe. Yeah. You guys are safe? <laughs> yeah. The danger right here is not touching the two poles. I've got a negative and positive here bar, mm -hmm. which is covered when I'm not in here. But we don't want to join these two together. All right. It's go time. Here we go. Here we go. It's a light! It's alive! It's <laughs> not too big of an arc there. Oh, the it's servo's alive. come to life too. Oh, there's yep. lights! That's a good yep. sign, right? It's alive. Seems to be that the smoke that's contained in these wires seems to still be contained. Yeah. No leaks. Excellent. So. <laughs> All the hard work has paid off. Look at this wall. Look at this whole room. Looks great. It's getting there. It's getting there. Look at all these things. There's a lot of time. A lot of time. A lot of planning. A lot of help from this man. Thank you, Brian. So, oh, yeah, my pleasure. It's been fun. <laughs> the servo's running, the Bluetooth is oh, on. Oh, there's lights. Can I go to I'm going to cover this back up because we don't want to cross this. Yep. I think that's our fuse. Flash fuse is in, hasn't blown, and everything's powering up. So we'll cover this up for now. Mm -hmm. That way we're not going to. Safety first. Our bus is live here, so that's all good. These are all open right now. You want to do the honors? All right, where are we going to start? We can introduce the solar. Yeah, okay. Let's turn these guys on. There's number one up here. Or is that four? <laughs> four, three, two, one. Oh, there's lights. Yep. There so now the solar panels are all connected to the charge controllers. They're going to boot up. And let's see. So we have so we have 50 volts from this panel. 39 there. Which one was that? Was this the... Uh, that's the existing... The existing one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what we were looking at the other day. We got 
48.8 there. We have 49.9 there. Well, that's the winner. And then, so we have, this is the output from the first one, 14.18 volts to the batteries. 14, 1.8, 14.19, and 14.2. So those are all within a tenth of a volt. And so we should see that that uh, 14. Well, that have to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is the battery side. So now when we close these switches, we'll, we'll be connecting the, the batteries to the battery bank. So should we start with the top one and check it? Yeah. All right, smoke watch. <laughs> OK, so we should see one set of. Uh, one set charging here, 14.14, so that's coming off of this guy. Yeah, so this is this is seeing the battery voltage now to the charger. And if we watch it for a little while, we should see it start going up very slowly. So that one's on. So oh, those, four so out of four. All right. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no smoke yet. <laughs> Okay, so all the batteries are connected to the solar chargers. Yeah, we're seeing. Yeah, we're seeing uh, output. I'm just curious. You know what? I actually haven't thought. Mm -hmm. This was disconnected on the boat. Yeah. So I'm hoping this actually works. Mm. Oh, you haven't checked. It's all the same voltage here, but we'll just check the bus coming off here. Yeah, the same as that. So 13.18. We're going to fire this one up because this is going to be our inverter for the water maker. It's a square wave, so it'll be standalone unit purely just for the water maker. And this unit will be for the rest of the boat. So we're going to turn this on now. And we're going to see if it works. <laughs> we have power. Yeah. And it says 13.2. Okay. The lights were red and now they've gone green. Point. Okay. So what we can do is we can check, switch to AC. Do you want an appliance to plug into it? Uh, no, we'll just check the output from the, because uh, it has two receptacles up there. At 120 or 119.8. So it's working. So they all have 120 volts coming out. Okay. So it's working. That's good. Um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Like That's a little science project. That, that roughly completes our DC side of things. We haven't connected the AC in yet, which is the next step. Um, yeah. But this is the AC, a uh, DC. The only thing we've got is the DC to DC charger, and we can check that after when we start the engine. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some dip switches here on this uh, inverter that we'll set uh, so that it's properly configured for our installation here. The the Lynx distributor, it, it has power, and this indicates that there's a blown fuse, but it's there's actually no fuse. So, uh, okay. So yeah. the other two are off. So if you had a blown fuse, you would see a red yeah. LED turn on there. Yeah. And then uh, everything else is good so far. So next thing to do is to uh, get the servo set mm -hmm. up and. So we're just Bluetooth to the computer, yeah. Uh, you can do it to your phone or to uh, a laptop. Um, but the phone is pretty easy to set it up. You just have to download their app. Yeah. So on the other side of the wall, on the the touch screen, mm -hmm. it should be on right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, it may not have any information on it, but okay, it should be so powered on. See, this is the little screen. Oh, there's something on it. It's, it's on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it has an automatic... Uh, I think it was on... I leave mine in all the time. Yeah, it was on sleep or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's working. So we can start monitoring the shunt. Is that the shunt pretty much is the brains of the system. It's measuring all of the uh, power flow into the batteries and all the power that you're consuming. 
So if you had loads going on right now, you would see the difference between what your, your uh, house uh, power requirements are and what you're putting into the batteries. From this angle, it looks like I'm trying to stash a body. <laughs> but he's still alive. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you comfy? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just having a look at our power situation here. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit dodgy. <laughs> just trying to figure out what's going on here. We'll get there. We'll get there. I don't know, trying to figure out the shore power. We have the inverter on and inverting. Problem with the shore power. All right, it's Thanksgiving today. We're in California and uh, American Thanksgiving is today and our children are off to see their uncle and auntie in San Francisco. So that's very exciting for them. Dad and I are staying behind to do all the boat work by ourselves, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> anyway, we're about to take them to the airport. They're gonna go for uh, three days and stay with their auntie and uncle and um, they'll have a great time and hopefully they'll film some stuff. We might put some stuff on there about their trip to San Fran, but but as usual, we are running late, so we're gonna get to the airport. Have fun. Have fun. And I'm super thankful for them. Just uh, in case I forgot to tell you, darling, I'm gonna go with them. Hell no, if anyone's going with them, I'm going with them. <laughs> and I forgot to tell you that I got a ticket and I packed oh, my bag. No. <laughs> say and I wish I was going. <laughs> anyway, next time. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.